You're watching Global National. People living along the U.S. East Coast are keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Josephine, which is formed in the Atlantic Ocean. It is the earliest J-named storm in history, breaking the previous record set back in 2005. That year was the most active Atlantic hurricane season ever. Eric Sorensen takes a look at what we can expect to see this year. Get ready for more of this. High winds and waves barreling for North America. The first major hurricane of the season did serious damage along the Atlantic coast earlier this month, but we are only now entering the peak hurricane season from mid-August through early October. We're heading into the reading to the heart of hurricane season. We've had 10 named storms uh, with uh, Josephine just recently named. Uh, and, and that's way, way ahead of schedule. We're in an active cycle for tropical storms, satellite images of huge cyclonic systems foreshadowing the conveyor belt of what's to come. The outlook for this year does call for 19 to 25 named storms, 7 to 11 hurricanes. An increasingly hot summer builds up the opportunity for hurricanes, but other large trends are also coming together. This year's African monsoon season is triggering a wave train of systems to kick off tropical storms. Over in the Pacific, the El Nino cycle is two to seven years long, but is trending towards La Nina, which can reduce the wind shear to counter hurricanes. Then there is the Atlantic Oscillation. This is a multi-decade phenomenon over the surface temperature of the entire North Atlantic, and it is trending towards warmer waters. And finally, there is climate change. The atmosphere around the world is warming, and that could trigger serious hurricanes. There's a potential for dangerous hurricane force winds. North Carolina's governor earlier this month with an all too familiar refrain. That means we must be on high alert. If it seems like every year recently has been ripe for Atlantic storms, that's because it has. We have been in one of these active phases, phases since 1995. So we're currently in an active phase right now. As global temperatures continue to rise, more ocean water can evaporate. Plus, the warmer air above is capable of holding more moisture. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey was a Category 4 storm for winds, but was made catastrophic by the rain, more than 100 centimeters in Houston. Such mega storms are rare, but likely to be more frequent. There are the longer-term climate change signals, um, which a couple of recent NOAA studies do point to an increasing frequency of the major hurricanes, which are categories threes, fours, and fives. Long term, an active phase for Atlantic hurricanes. Short term, the right conditions for a very active season. Experts say batten down the hatches.